Halfway through the record-breaking rally, these planes soar through the Kenyan sky. The race was inspired by African aviation during the 1920s. It began last month on the Greek island of Crete and will finish on the tip of Africa in Cape Town. Eight of the planes were built before 1949. American pilot Adam Moritz is making the journey in a later model. The scenery and the views are amazing and Kenya is beautiful, beautiful. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's a challenge, but it's a fun, fun experience, fun challenge. Uh, you got the risk. We had the steerman yesterday that had an emergency landing and pretty much the, the airplane is total. Um, but the pilots are okay, safe, no scratch, no nothing. The rally is supported by a large team, including two helicopters to monitor their safety. The journey hasn't been easy. The pilots and crew were detained in Ethiopia for two days because they didn't have permission to land. Still, those taking part say they're excited to continue the trip to Cape Town. Organizers are keen to show people how aircraft built almost 90 years ago can still do the job. Organizing the Venture Rally is a very difficult uh, enterprise. Uh, there are a lot of complexity. We're dealing with a lot of different countries, a lot of different rules and regulations, a lot of different uh, weather, um, loading, fuel supply. Uh, the number of variables is almost limitless. The journey will take five weeks. Money raised will go to UNICEF and to help save endangered vultures. For the pilots, there's no shortage of thrills along the way. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Nairobi.